So finding good employees can be difficult, right? And recruiting to find those employees that you need to be successful can be tough and challenging. So let's break down seven tips on how you can recruit great employees. Tip number one with recruiting employees is you need a great culture. I think it all starts there. That's gotta be the foundation. So what is your culture look like uh, how does it feel what does it sound like what does it look like you know go through that thought process if you don't have a culture established and you're not quite sure maybe take a look on glassdoor or find some companies that can inspire you like what do you want to be like when you grow up as a company and if you do have an established culture then you need to really leverage that so that you can have people stay with you longer and refer their friends and everything else and people that don't work for you want to work for you if you have that baseline foundation of a strong culture all the additional tips I'm about to give you really, really have extra horsepower. Tip number two is to build an apply page on your website. And on that, don't just have an apply form, have a lot of content about your company and about your culture. Have some videos. Videos are so powerful. If you have videos of your team talking about why they like working there, what they do on a daily basis, and you just show the environment and the culture and have that passion and excitement there, people are gonna wanna be a part of that. In addition to that, you can list the jobs that you have at the company, some job descriptions, some of those sorts of things, and then an apply form. Really make your apply page your landing page for recruiting recruiting employees that you can send them to that page and it stands out. Look at your competitors and look at their apply page and just make sure yours is better, right? Or other businesses in your area, look at their apply page and you be the best. That way when people are job hunting, they find your site, they look at your apply page and they get pumped about working for you guys. Tip three is to build your social presence particularly in your local community. So be active on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, really build your presence there, highlight your culture, highlight the things you're doing on a daily basis. Give shout outs of your team. Help the community see that it's a great place to work, right? Get them excited about that. LinkedIn is really powerful too. LinkedIn, you can extend out of your local community and even target people outside of that that might wanna move and work for you by targeting their job description or those sorts of things, their industry. Uh, you can really reach out that way on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, but build your presence on social media so that you build this perception of what it's like to work for you that is in your favor to attract people to want to work for you. There was a study by Office Vibe report that showed that 75% of job candidates out there are not currently looking for a job, which means only 25% of people are actually looking. Here's the deal. People that aren't looking and find you and wanna work for you is generally better employees, right? Those are who you want. People on job boards and those sorts of things, which is the other 25%, are actively looking for something. Those might not be the best fit. What you want is somebody in the local community that really starts to follow you and get excited about being a part of your brand to say, hey, you know what? I wanna be a part of that. They don't even go to a job board. They just go to your website link to your apply page. You can just put a post on social media when you have a new opening with a link to your apply page. They go there, they apply, and now you got a good candidate you've recruited. Tip number four is to get your business listed on Glassdoor if it's not already. Treat Glassdoor like your business's culture microsite. Completely populate it with pictures and videos and awards you've won and a good description of your company so that it really is a great resource you can direct people to to learn about your team and your culture. And then a really powerful piece about Glassdoor is obviously the reviews. So make sure that you have your team leave their feedback on Glassdoor and rate your business. Maybe at the annual reviews as you're doing these things with employees, you can ask them, hey, if you haven't left a review on Glassdoor, I'd really appreciate if you did. We'd love your feedback. So that you're proactively building your profile the, the key here is a lot of people nowadays, before they apply, they check your business's reputation and they do that by going to Glassdoor. So if you have a good, strong presence on Glassdoor, you're going to confirm that you're a great place to work and you're going to capture better recruits and better candidates. Here's the deal though, Glassdoor can be very powerful or it can hurt you if your culture is bad. So here again, tip number one of having a great culture is so important because that's gonna allow you to build a very strong Glassdoor presence. Power tip, make sure to respond to all reviews, good and bad. The bad reviews can actually be the best reviews in many cases because it can allow you to clarify things where the, maybe there was confusion. That way a recruit can come in and see like, oh, okay, I see both perspectives, that makes sense, and they can make a good decision. Ultimately, you attract the person that you're looking for. Tip number five is to have your team ask for referrals or send you referrals. Nobody wants to refer somebody they don't think is gonna be a good fit and do a great job, right? So that you're already ahead of the curve if most of your applicants 
are referred by existing people on your team. The other thing is, is your team likes to work with like-minded people and they're generally gonna refer like-minded people. Essentially, your company just becomes a network of friends and family, basically, which is gonna go that extra mile when times get tough. And so this is so valuable, but here again, if you don't have a strong culture and a strong core there, probably not gonna get a lot of referrals, but in an ideal world, Every new recruit that you bring on board was referred by somebody on your team. They already passed the first test. Tip six is the obvious ones. You want to be competitive on pay and on benefits and all these things. You don't have to be the best, right? But you want to be competitive. You definitely don't want to be the worst. So have some good structure there. And then if you can't afford the best of the best, just put a plan in place to try to get there, right? And communicate that to your team that, hey, every year we're going to try to improve upon these things, these benefits, those things. As we see success as a company, we're going to continue to invest back into the employees with these benefits. And so everybody feels like they're a part of the improvement over time and you're communicating those as you go, that'll keep people excited and keep people coming to you. Tip number seven is just make work fun, right? When people are having fun, they're happy and people wanna be where they're happy. And so what happens is, is the word gets out into the community and you start to get people hearing about it at the grocery store, out to eat at these different places and they think, man, I kinda wanna go be happier at some place that sounds funner. And so what they do is they go and they, they, they seek you out. They go to your website, they look around, they educate themselves, do some self-analysis, they check your glass door, and then they go ahead and apply. This is a great candidate. This is the type of person that you want on your team, but you, like here again, you have to have a great culture. That's a fun place to work where people are happy. So that's it, thanks for watching. Hopefully these tips were really helpful to help you recruit the best talent. I wanna give a shout out to Moses. He requested this uh, topic today and inspired me to do this video. Thanks for the comment on that, Moses. If you like the video, like it, share it with your friends and follow us for more content like this down the road. Happy marketing.